Let's write the formula for iodine trichloride. And the first thing that we need to recognize is iodine right here, that's a non-metal. Chloride, that means chlorine, that's also a non-metal. So we have two non-metals. This is going to be a molecular compound. So we have to take these prefixes into account when we write the formula for iodine trichloride. First, we'll write the element symbol for iodine. That's going to be just I. Then we write the element symbol for chloride, which is chlorine, so C-L. And this tri, this prefix right here, tri means three, like a tricycle. So we're going to have three of the chlorine atoms. That makes the formula for iodine trichloride ICL3. If you were given the formula and asked to write the name for ICL3, you'd know that you have trichloride because the three on the chlorine and you have these two nonmetals, so you'd use that prefix. This is Dr. B with the formula for iodine trichloride. Thanks for watching.